Lawyers who care, convenient, affordable, respectful, and experienced. For over 20 years, we have helped thousands throughout the Hudson Valley, New York City, and Long Island. We work 100% for the 99%. For a free consultation with an experienced attorney, call or text us at 212-766-1100. And yes, we speak Spanish. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 Entertainment LLC at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Good afternoon and happy Sunday. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. This is Millennium TV 24 money talks i am your host cynthia abbott and today we will continue talking about business entrepreneurship woman in business making your money make money for you and just learning the financial game plan of how to win the money game today's show i will talk with you a little bit about entre entrepreneurship and woman so Welcome to the new age of woman entrepreneurship. Where successful women leaders, they're embracing their gender differences in the work environment. We're creating uh, different types of businesses. We're very creative. We're leading in, in the industry in many different ways in empowering other women and empowering our communities. But men aren't out of the picture right but they're no longer defining the perimeters of success women are taking charge wouldn't you agree because people don't plan to fail most people don't they just fail to plan so now women are taking over the households they're planning they're getting the finances in order and being a woman entrepreneur, it isn't a better time than now. Always been women in the industry, right? But now women are saying, I no longer want to be behind the scenes. I no, want, no longer want to be left behind. I no longer want to have my voice not being heard. So women are taking over when it comes to career change, when it comes to education, when it comes to, you know, just defining their future, they're taking the lead. My goal is to bring you a better understanding of yourself in business as a woman, how to be more successful in balancing your life and your money, because balancing is important when you're in business or when you're not in business, you have to balance that work-life balance when you're in business is even more critical than when you're not in business because no matter what happens, you have to make sure you continue to provide that great service, you know, that empowerment for other women. You have to continue to provide the services that you promise your clients. No matter what happens, when you have to do the laundry, when you have to cook, take care of the kids and do all the other household chores, you cannot do it all though. There is a real thing such as burnout. So we have to make sure we are mindful of so many few simple things. So many things that you can actually delegate because when you're in business, especially as a woman you have to learn how to delegate more because we're nurturers we tend to want to take care of everybody and leave ourselves undone but i can tell you the number one thing that you need to understand most of all is that your health is your wealth taking care of self first so you can take care of others so just be mindful of that because the need to be profitable, 
right? We can build profitable recession proof businesses as women because we have power. We're powerful. It certainly challenges the challenging. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy to be in business for yourself or being a business owner. It is a lot of challenges, a lot of ups and down that comes with the territory. So you gotta be ready to fall and get up. And when you fall hard, you get up harder. You have to know that it's going to be rough. It's not going to be easy. So many more women now are going into business for themselves. Today's entrepreneurs are making it in spite of all the stereotypes and the labels of being a woman, you know, being emotional, not being able to focus on the main goal. No, woman knows how to separate the emotion from real business. They know how to be mindful of the small things that don't matter. They're leveraging their time. They're leveraging other people's time to make them more successful. But you have to know where you stand no matter what. And no matter what get thrown at you, you're going to keep it moving because you're a powerful woman in the workforce, changing lives, building a brand for yourself. So here one, here's one thing that I want to make sure that everyone who's listening today, as you take notes, yes, we're still building that financial house, getting the financial house in order, because if you can bring in more income by being in business, being an entrepreneur, I'm not saying you have to give it all up. Initially, you may have to still keep your career, keep your full-time job if that is what you want to do. You don't have to, but if that's what you need in order to keep things afloat, do it. Do a side business until you can bridge over into full-time entrepreneurship. There are so many businesses that started just since 2020, since the pandemic, thousands of businesses, millions of small businesses, side hustles, gig work, contract work. People are now seeing that they want to be able to use up all their creativity, think outside the box and make additional income. So you don't have to give up your full career in order to go into business for yourself. You can stick your toes in, see how it works for you. See if you have that grit. See if you have that passion. See if this is something that you want to do long-term. Because most businesses fail before they succeed. So if you don't have a tough mindset, a mentality to make it through the hard times, it's gonna be even harder. And again, I'm not saying it's easy, but you have to know that if you are passionate about something, if you're passionate about changing the world, as a woman, if you want to, want to change other women's perspective of what they can do and help them to bring out that greatness in them, you will have to now put the work in, lead the way. As a leader, we're women, we're leading the way for others. We have to show them that it's possible. So having that passion is key. You have to build a competitive environment also. I don't know about you, but I love being competitive. And my business, in my business, where we compete all the time and I love it because I'm always competing with myself. The competition is not about beating someone else or making someone else look bad. It's about being a leader. It's about making sure you stay the course. So competing with yourself, making sure you understand the reason why you're competing because you must have a why. Your why must be strong enough for you to stay the course. If your why is not strong enough, you will fall and you will fall hard. So take it from me when I tell you, as a woman who's been in business for many years, 
it is not easy. Because last time we talked about the cash flow quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki, wrote the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We talked about the quadrant on the left hand side as an employee, the left hand side as a self employed person. So, on the left hand side, we talked about what happens. You have to put in time to make money. That is what the cash flow quadrant defines on the left hand side of the quadrant. Being an employee where you don't define your income, you don't define your time, your employer do. Being a self-employed person, if you don't show up, you don't get paid. You have to be, if you're it, number one, in everything in that business, you're it. There's no one else that's being self-employed. So time you have to put in it to make money. If you're sick, there's no money coming in. If you're on vacation, there's no money really coming in, right? We talked about that and how Robert Kiyosaki, when he wrote the cash flow quadrant and whichever way you look at it, because everyone defines it different. I'm not an expert on defining the cash flow quadrant, but I understood it when I saw it the first time. I knew where I was on that quadrant. Which side are you on? Are you on the left side or are you on the right side? Because on the left side, again, you're leveraging time, your time for money. And that is why statistics have proven right now 74 percent of employees reported living paycheck to paycheck 74 percent it's a huge number living paycheck to paycheck because you're on the left hand side of the quadrant and now you have the great resignation but majority of those people who have bridged over into business are still on the left hand side as a self-employed person but it's okay because what the cash flow quadrant shows you is that you can start on the left and then you can see how you can bridge over to the right hand side of the quadrant because on the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant is the business owner now you're leveraging other people's time to make money, to make a profit. And are you in business to make a profit or what? Let's be real. Let's have some real talk here. Because for myself, I know I, wanted, I want to change the world. I want to help people. I want to help to inspire other women, other business owners. But at the end of the day, I'm in business to make money. Just like every other business, every business. You're not in business just to be in business. Yes, you got to give service because I am a servant. I serve my people. But at the end of the day, you want to be able to make a profit. So leveraging other people's time to make money is when you're really truly in business. So you, now you're hiring people, you're recruiting people, you're showing them and teaching them, you're pouring into them, you're spending money to train them so you don't have to be there. So when I return, we will continue this talk on business, entrepreneurship and women and making sure that you're leveraging your time properly. So continue taking notes we're going to have a great time today. Be right back. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 Entertainment LLC at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV.
folks it's exciting talking about business woman entrepreneurship i am so excited and passionate about talking to you today i want to make sure that i give you some numbers numbers don't lie some t statistics about woman and entrepreneurship so here's a report by us um one of the women in investing um, articles talk about women start their career deep in debt than their male peers. Women hold 65% of all student loan debt. That's a huge number. That's more than 50%. In entry level positions, women are 18% less than their male peers to receive a promotion. On the top end, only 20% of senior level women make it to the C-suite. What is the C-suite? The C-suite is the CEO, the COO, the CFO, right? And such. And this report was done by CNN.com. So, I'm telling you, the C-suite is where women really want to be. Isn't that why you're finding so many women entrepreneurs now? Because if they're saying only 20% of the workforce make it to the C-suite, there's such a huge disparity there. Women know what they can give. They know what they have to offer. So now being your own CEO of your company, it does make sense, right? Here's another one. Women make between 78 cents and 80 cents on every dollar a man makes in the same job. So, women are taking control now of their pay, their money, their salary. They say, I want to get paid more and I will do whatever it takes. I will put myself in a position where I can make more money, build my own brand, and be successful because the three reasons why women don't go into business for themselves that's changing right now they are saying they don't have the capital that's what they're saying that's one of the reasons however women are finding out now that they can actually start a business without having a large amount of capital there's so many business, including in my business, there is no really, you know, um, capital, huge capital, small investment in yourself takes you to the top. Number two, they say they don't have the knowledge, but guess what's happening? They're finding that there are options, opportunities where they can actually learn hands-on how to do business how to build a business for themselves, how to build a legacy for themselves, for their future generations. They're learning that they don't have to come in knowing everything. And here's the last one, number three. This reason is no longer as huge as it was. The fear of going into business, feeling that you will fail feeling that you won't make it to the top because of all these other factors. Being a mother, being a wife, being a, you know, just a caregiver for your parents, for those who are caring for their parents. Just being the one that's carrying the load in the household. Women are taking charge and saying, I don't have to do this. I don't have to put my goals on hold. I don't have to put my dreams on hold in order to make it. I can still pursue my goals and dreams with having responsibilities as a wife, as a mother, as a caregiver. So that fear, taking away that fear is key to getting to the top. And more and more women, I am so excited that I am part of this crusade to greatness, to help families, to help women, 
to see that they have the ability to do whatever it takes. I've helped several women over the past year actually to be able to start their business and build their business. And it's such a pleasure seeing them flourishing, seeing them working towards it, doing whatever it takes, being unstoppable as a woman, just grinding all the way to greatness and just being a great leader, knowing that you can pave the way for individual because it's not about me. At the end of the day, it's about the families that I'm caring for. It's about my clients. It's about the woman that I'm inspiring to do it right and do it big. Dream bigger and bigger and bigger. Because here's a few reasons. I'll give you five reasons why women go into business, especially in my business, I can tell you because they're looking for a career change. They're looking to bridge from the left side of the cash flow quadrant over to the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant. They're looking for a better income potential. That's one of the reasons why women are going into entrepreneurship. They're looking to make a change. And the opportunities that are out there they're starting to see that there are real opportunities for them to be able to do that, to reach their destiny, to take charge of their money, because you have to work on that on your way to the top. Number two, here's another reason why some of these women have joined me in business and joined other businesses and venturing in, into entrepreneurship. They love what they do, but guess what? Making extra part-time income, like I said, keep your career and do something part-time until you can bridge into full-time. They love what they do, especially if they're in the helping field. We were born to be helpers. They love helping people. But guess what? What's wrong with helping people and getting paid for it? There's nothing wrong with that. So once these women change the mentality about money, they're now able to accept more opportunities to be able to make money work for them. Because money can work for you if you believe it'll work for you. You have to believe, believe Will t belief will take you so far you would not even imagine that you would get there. Just believe that you can do it. So these women are doing it part-time and seeing great results because sometimes people want to see that it will work before they actually jump right in. Dive in fully, 120. But it's okay. If that's what works for you, then do that. Number three, these women want to learn. They want the financial education that they can help their families to get out of debt, stay out of debt, and help other families to do that. Because they want this financial education, they give themselves a chance at entrepreneurship and learning behind the scenes, the money game, so they can win. Again, women want to win big when it comes to business. They learn the money game, they're unstoppable. So remember, bridging from the left side to the right side, it doesn't have to be so difficult. It's challenging but it doesn't have to be so difficult. If you have other women that are helping you, inspiring you and giving you all that you need, the knowledge that you need in order to succeed, that coaching that I talked about, I talk about coaching all of the time because you need someone who've done it before or are doing it, can show you what not to do, right? Can you imagine? If you learn what not to do, how much faster you could get there?
learn from the people who have been successful in business. There's so many women out here that's looking to teach you. Allow yourself the opportunity to accept the help because you need to know what not to do. Just as important as you need to know what to do, you need to know what doesn't work. Number four, yes, they just love helping other people and making a difference. Yes, making a difference in this world, putting a dent in poverty, changing poverty in different communities, building legacy for other families, showing them how to do it for, for themselves and for their families and for the next generation. Love, love helping people. I love helping people. I love, I just have such a passion for helping people. And I know there's so many other women out there like me. So this is why we're seeing this rise in our economy with women taking charge of their finances and going into business for themselves. And there's so many people guys that always dreamed of being in business for themselves. Go into the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant, being in business for themselves. Okay. Not just being self-employed, but being in business for themselves, not just having one business, but multiple businesses. But here's the key, and I've learned this the hard way. You have to build one business first, then you can build another after you're successful and leveraging your time with other people working for you. I repeat, building one business at a time, not two, three, four, and five businesses. I want you to succeed. So take it from me when I tell you, I learned the hard way. You have to build one business at a time. Then build the next one because what happens to your time when you build one business and now other people are working for you and you leveraging your time for profit. Now you have time to build another business. Focus on one thing at a time when it comes to building a business is key. I'm just giving you all the great nuggets. I hope you're taking notes. So those are the five reasons why most women go into business for themselves. Those are the five reasons that over the years, most people have told me why they've gone into business for themselves. So can you see where most women would be interested in at least one of these areas? I gave you five. Can you see where they will be interested in at least one? And using the, the, the knowledge, the help, the mentorship, the coaching in order to get there. Because the traditional system is broken. Let's talk real, real talk. It is broken because we were all told to go to school, right? Get an education, right? Go to college, get a good job and your dream life will appear. Well, we know how that's going for most people now, especially with the great resignation. Their dream life is not happening. So they're quitting. They're jumping from one job to the next and they're searching for something that they will not find if they continue to be an employee. They're looking to be able to be heard, have their voices heard, especially when it comes to a woman not being able to join the C-suite because you have all the education, you have all the experience, you have all the knowledge, you have what it takes but no one will give you the opportunity to get into the C-suite because they don't like you, because they don't like what you look like or what you stand for, or because you speak up. This is one of my, in my opinion, by the way, in my opinion, this is the biggest reason for the great resignation. 
So I can tell you, you continue to search for greatness. Don't let opportunity pass you by. We'll be return after a few seconds of commercial. Hang in there, guys. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 Entertainment LLC at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Welcome back, welcome back. So in closing up today, concluding this segment of the show, we're talking about woman entrepreneurship. I am just giving you all the inside information, what I've learned over the years, what really works and what women are looking to do. Because another key factor, why women are going into business for themselves, jumping ship when it comes to the job, looking to bridge from the left side hand of the cash flow quadrant onto the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant is due to flexibility. That's another reason that I believe most women want to be on the right hand side of that cash flow quadrant. Flexibility in having time to be with their families, to take the children to their sports events, being there when their children are sick, having to spend that quality time instead of not being around when the family needs them. They want to be able to have control of their time, control of their future, control of their destiny altogether. The great resignation is proven that right now that more women are looking for flexibility. They got a chance to work from home, that remote work, tasting that piece of the pie really made a difference. And now we're seeing more women than ever want to be on the right hand side of that cash flow quadrant. When you're on that right hand side, remember you must Give good service, give good, good service. You know, when you promise your clients, your customers, being in business is not just starting a business, make a sale and disappear. Building relationships is key. Making sure your clients know that you are accessible. They can reach you. They can call you whenever they have a problem. Not hearing a, a answer machine do you know how it feels when you have a question and you have so many things going on and you call a company you have to wait one hour two hours three hours or you have to leave a voice message and hope they listen to it and return your call so when it comes to business there's really no competition there's no competition when you go all in and you are passionate about what you do and you want to change lives, there's no competition because you will be accessible. You will be able to reach your clients. They'll be able to reach you and, and they will be able to have their questions answered. And if they have a problem, you have the solution for them. There's no competition when it comes to that. So the fear of going to the, into business, because you may think there's so much competition out there, just provide quality service, guys. Quality, not quantity, but quality. Market yourself. When you're on the left-hand side, you kind of dabble a little bit with marketing. When you're on the right-hand side, people need to know who you are, what you stand for, what you provide. They need to know that they can depend on you. They need to know they can trust you. So you have to market yourself and market yourself in the right spaces. I love to network. 
networking, meeting new people, and helping them because I love doing business with people who love doing business with me. Don't you? So, market yourself. Let people know what you do so you can stay on the right hand side of the quadrant because the right side is the right side. I love the cash flow quadrant, guys. I know you guys realize that now. So keep in mind, you have to dream big to stay on the right hand side of the quadrant. You have to stay dreaming big. When you write down those goals and set that deadline, because a dream or goal without a deadline is just a wish. What's your deadline to freedom? What's your deadline to get to financial freedom, to win the money game? Your deadline, my deadline, someone else's deadline, different deadline. What is yours and what are you willing to sacrifice to make that deadline? You might write down a deadline to get there by the end of this year. So you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to make sure you continue to dream big, helping enough people, giving back, being accessible. Sleeping less, taking care of yourself, sacrificing. All those great things is what you need to stay on the right hand side of the quadrant. Because when you get to the right side, you just don't want to get there. You want to stay there. So knowing what you're willing to give up to stay on that right-hand side of that quadrant is key. Yes, this is a money talk show. We're talking about the right-hand side of the quadrant as a business owner making a profit. Money makes money. So when you make money, you can do so many other things like giving to charity, right? Providing services for your community, giving back, being able to not worry about paying your bills, saving for retirement. What if you don't have enough retirement put away? Get a side hustle, get a part-time entrepreneurship um, opportunity. They're out there. I offer them every minute of the day to people. So put yourself in a position where you can speed it up. It's not too late. I don't care how old you are. It's not too late, but you got to get started. You got to start putting yourself in the position to bridge over to the right hand side of that cash flow quadrant as an investor. Money makes money. How about your money working for you while you are asleep? Have you ever thought about that massive passive income? It just doesn't come like that. You have to put yourself in that position, having the opportunity, having the knowledge, learning about money and how it works. You know, it's not a just one, about one factor. It's about diversification, diversification of not just your portfolio, but your time. Having that discipline to be able to be an investor, having your money work for you. When I learned that, I was blown away that my money could actually work for me, free up time for me to be able to do other things, help more people, and then build a business that can provide for other households. Imagine someone having a second job with you or second opportunity with you because you're able to make that happen for them. Now they can feed their families. How would you feel knowing that you've made such a great impact on your community? You've made such a great impact on lives, changing lives one at a time. How would that make you feel? Give yourself a chance. It's okay. If you're afraid of failure, you will never succeed because failure is success. Think big, continue to work on staying positive so you can stay on that right-hand side of the quadrant. 
Staying positive so you can inspire other people. Keeping a positive attitude so you can inspire other people. I want you to know as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a woman who was told after having a child as in the teenage years that you would never make it, your life is over. I can tell you, no one defines your future but you because you are in the driver's seat. If I had listened to all these people who told me that I would never make it because I had a child while in high school, if I had listened to them, can you imagine? I would not be here today. I would not be able to inspire as many people. I did not listen because, because I know deep down I had a deep desire, not just to prove them wrong now, but I had a deep desire to win at life. Even when life, there's so many things that happen throughout life that could set you back. And so many people have these excuses, but you don't know what she's been through, but you don't know what happened, but you don't know the family she comes from, but you don't know this is why she's not like you. No, 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 no. I know because I've had those challenges. I have so many challenges that it will be so many shows for us to get through all of them. But I can tell you every time I had to fight through those battles, it just gave me more strength. And that's how I know the power of a woman because I am a woman. I am an entrepreneur. I am a business owner. And I know if you put your mind to it, I know whatever you put your mind to, you can win because I'm not perfect. I'm not where, where I want to be, but I know that I can inspire. I can help other people. And that is my ultimate goal. It's not about me again. It's about you because you matter. As a woman, you matter. You deserve more. You deserve to be in the C-suite. Have your own business. Be your own CEO. You deserve to call the shots because you're a phenomenal woman, a powerful woman, a woman that can change the world. You just need someone to believe in you, but I can tell you, you first have to believe in yourself. Once you believe in yourself, you become unstoppable because then you will have the people that you surround yourself with, the people who can help and empower you. No, I'm not talking about the naysayers. Naysayers, they're all out there. They don't wanna be left behind. So they will hold you behind by telling you not to do it, not to try something, not to go into business for yourself, not to trust someone who have your interests at heart. They will tell you that, but it's all up to you as a woman. If you want and you have that drive to win, you are not going to listen to the naysayers. You have what it takes. People are out here looking to help you. You have to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. No one, the government is not responsible for your money. You're responsible for your money because money is here. Changing that mindset. And I can tell you, as, as I conclude today, and I want to make sure you understand the reason for this show is just to help you to reach your goals. I want you to understand that I care about your success. I care about your future. I want you to win any means necessary. Thank you for watching today. Have a wonderful week. This is Millennium TV 24 in sponsorship with Roku TV, Amazon TV, Apple TV, and all your smart TVs. Don't forget to download our app on your Android or your iPhone. 
And you can always catch us on Facebook and YouTube. All these shows are streamed on YouTube. Money Talks. This is Cynthia Abbott, your host. See you next time. Have a safe week. See you next week, guys. I will continue talking about money, woman, and entrepreneurship. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Okay, thank you guys. I'm still here, so I guess we can continue our talk. But I appreciate you taking notes. I appreciate you watching. Share the show. Subscribe on YouTube. And we, con we will continue talking about money and changing your lives. Thank you. Yes.